Are you a finance professional or an accounting student but not so sure of your career options? How about CPA, CMA, CFA certifications? You'll be intrigued to know that the big four and multinational companies pay a handsome salary package to fresher with CPA, CMA, CFA certifications, and of course that's just the starting point. Let's Learn Global brings you biggest video lecture collection with 100 plus hours of video courses. CPA, CMA, CFA, video lectures, and notes which are perfect supplement to your certification journey. Certification Video Lectures is a series of video lectures to completely understand major certification from beginner to advanced level. The course is designed with the, the purpose of learning popular certifications in a series of video lectures. It contains a list of all popular certifications that are essential for a better future and career growth. By learning these popular video lectures one can easily clear certification exams, which provide skills that are highly demandable in the market. Sharpen your skills with our Academy app and you will get free courses on CPA, CMA, CFA. To get our course, download Class Plus app. Android users can download our app from Google Play Store. iOS users can download our app from Apple App Store and use our organization code Enrich to get our free courses. The course contains highly interactive video lectures with best in the industry features some are listed below. Comprehensive videos. 50 plus video lectures per subject. Practice exams. Desktop, laptop, mobile and tab friendly. Instructor support. Access anywhere. HD video lessons. No more long and boring video classes. Our lectures are crisp, precise and to the point. Hurry, download our app today and get recognized globally with Let's Learn Global. For any assistance you can WhatsApp or call at 0091800800311. Hi, welcome to the session on CMA part 1, Financial Planning, Performance and Analytics. This session will discuss about measurement, valuation and disclosure. Measurement, valuation and disclosure of short term items short-term items like current assets In current assets we have to remember cash marketable securities accounts receivable inventories and prepayments so we measure value and disclose the short-term items like accounts receivable inventory and investments So in this topic, we'll discuss about measurement, valuation, and disclosure of accounts receivable, inventory, and investments. The current topic, what we discuss is accounts receivable. Measurement, valuation, and disclosure of short-term items, accounts receivable, inventory, and investments. Accounts receivable. We sell our goods on credit customer customer says that he would pay after a month okay so the sale took place today but cash received after 30 days so there is a time gap between the sale and receipt of cash so revenue is recognized here but realized after 30 days for these 30 days, how do you treat this revenue? You recognized your revenue, but it is going to be cashed only after 30 days from now. Until then, how do you record customer? We should record the details of the customers in our books, how much he owes. An employee borrowed from our company. Okay, we received or we uh, have to receive some money from a supplier maybe a refund or rebate or something or we may have to get some interest dividend commissions from other parties these are all receivables these are all receivables 
we classify the receivables into accounts receivable and notes receivable both accounts receivable and notes receivable we show them in the balance sheet yeah the amount this is owed by customers and others to our company we call them as receivables we classify them as accounts receivable and notes receivable and record in our balance sheet until we collect the mainly receivables are of two types trade receivables and non trade receivables trade receivables are those which we had to receive money from the sale of our goods or by rendering our services purely related to the activities of our business we sold goods the amount it is that to be collected it's a trade receivable non trade receivable is an amount owed by others to our company not for selling the goods not for you know rendering services but some other reasons they owe money to us yeah say we gave a loan to our one of the offices he said this $5000 which he borrowed from our company is working as an accounts accounts manager he said that this amount would be paid in five installments okay so it is a receivable but not from the trade transactions it is receivable but not from the trade transactions this is an example of non trade receivables so he owes money to the company but he didn't buy any goods on credit we didn't provide any services on credit we lent him some money because he was in the need of money and he said that this money he would pay in a future until this money is collected we record it as non trade receivable then trade receivables purely from the sale of goods or by rendering services and the amount what we had to collect is to be shown under trade receivables trade receivables are further classified into accounts receivable and notes receivable so just make a note that the receivables are broadly classified into trade receivables and non trade receivables trade receivables are further classified into accounts receivable and notes receivable all these receivables or assets to be shown under balance sheet under current assets section because they're all to be received in a period maximum period of 1 year whether it is trade receivable or non trade receivable it is to be classified under current asset on the balance sheet receivables we classify them as what trade and non trade right the trade receivables are further classified into what accounts receivable and notes receivable what is accounts receivable when we sell goods to a customer who has been buying these goods from us for years together we have a good trust we have a good trust so we told this customer that yes you can buy goods what worth $100000 with 2 months credit so we know this customer we trust this customer we have a good relationship he is maintaining the trust for long years so he can buy goods from us up to $100000 with a 2 months credit we don't ask any promise any letter from him stating that this amount i would promise this amount would be paid after 2 months from the purchase date or something like that so it is just only an oral promise not a written promise it is a mutual trust between us and uh, the customers we just send the goods the moment a customer places a requisition okay we don't have any record except the invoice and other shipping documents we don't have any record for the payment 
that is called accounts receivable. It's an oral promise. We just record it based on the requisition made by the customer with a copy of the invoice. But we don't have any negotiable instrument with us which we can negotiate with the banks that on the due date we can present it for the payment. No, we don't have nothing. We have to just call or remind the customer to pay this amount. Accounts receivable, open account. Whereas when you sell the goods to a customer, yes, we sell goods to you. We sell goods to you. But yes, this is called open credit. But here we sell goods to you with two months credit. But we need some kind of written promise from you. Give me a check. Future dated that is from two months from now. Okay, you date it. You date it. But future dated. We will hold this until the due date and present it for payment. It can be a promissory note, it can be a letter of credit, it, may, it can be a guarantee, it can be a post dated check, it can be a any kind of negotiable instrument. We have something in our hand. Okay, in simple, it is accounts receivable is open credit and this notes receivable is a written you know guarantee it can be in can be in any format okay you will have some written promise by your customer that written promise can be negotiated with a bank to get money on the due date yep so both open receivables written receivables that is notes receivable are to be shown under current assets non trade receivables see as the name says non trade means what this these receivables are not from the core trade transactions you gave some advances to your offices which are going to be refunded or returned to the employees staff loans etc any advances which are granted to subsidiaries sister concerns any deposits okay which you need to get from you know the suppliers or any other companies like you have some deposit with electricity department telecommunication department customs department these all receivables but you know not from code trade transactions deposits for the guarantee of the performance or payment etc so all non trade receivables not only this dividends receivable from our investments interest receivable on deposits and any claims receivable from the insurance company okay these are all to be treated as non trade receivables they do not come under trade receivables no accounts receivable no notes receivable now we understand what is trade in case of trade what is accounts receivable what is notes receivable and uh, 